One of the things I love most about going out for breakfast is having breakfast potatoes. And whenever I order breakfast potatoes, I always say, and please make them crispy. I love them to be just really nice and crispy. But you know what that usually means. It means that they fry it on a griddle with a lot of fat and they're really greasy. <laughs> so I've discovered a way that I can have those crispy potatoes at home and they don't have to be greasy and I don't need to use a lot of fat. And I'll show you how easy it is. I call them bre breakfast potatoes because they're great with eggs, but you could serve these for dinner too as a side. So first of all, I've turned my oven to 425 degrees. I've got a heavy cast iron skillet ready to go. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, use a baking pan. That'll work just fine. But I I just love my cast iron skillet. So I've got my nice big one and I've already chopped and uh, just chopped up into bite-sized chunks some potatoes. I like to use a potato that has a nice creamy center when it's cooked. So I use red potatoes. Today I've got a mix of red potatoes and yellow potatoes and probably one to two pounds. If you use two pounds you'll have enough for four servings. And then I'm just putting them into my pan along with one cubed up bell pepper and today I've got an orange pepper red is really good too it's nice and sweet and then I'm going to add some onion and I've got just half of a medium onion so I start with one teaspoon of garlic powder and the reason I don't use fresh garlic is because by the time the potatoes are cooked the garlic is really dark and bitter so garlic powder just really gives it a nice garlicky flavor and about half a teaspoon of salt that I'll sprinkle over and some nice fresh black pepper. And then I'll drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. Two tablespoons for sure, sometimes a little bit more, but I just want enough so that everything is glistening with oil, not drowning in it. So probably a couple tablespoons is good to start with. And then toss it up and see what you have. I'll put these in the oven and for them to get nice and crispy, I usually leave them in for about 45 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes. And I try to remember to stir them up about every 15 minutes so that they get golden and crispy all the way around. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for Good Life 365.